This is a big week for Yahoo. The popular search engine is celebrating its 15th birthday. And to mark the occasion, they conducted a survey to find out just how much the Internet has actually changed our lives. Here with the results is Yahoo's web life editor, Heather Cabot. Welcome back, Heather. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Happy birthday. Thank you. So you looked at, at how the Internet has changed our lives. And really, how we used to think of the Internet when it was first born in 1995 is completely different from completely how we think of it different. now. Oh, in, in fact, a majority of the people that we surveyed, and by the way, this survey is something that we did Yahoo and Decipher Inc. partnered on it. We surveyed 1,700 uh, Americans who use the Internet on a regular basis. A majority told us that in 1995 they were clueless. And about, scared probably, clueless, right? Clueless, a little bit nervous about it. There was some curiosity. And, and then again, you know, looking today, they tell us they can't live without it. So it is amazing that in only 15 years we've had this huge transformation in the way we live, the yep. way we work, the way we learn. The Internet has literally replaced so many things. Let's take a look at the first numbers that your survey revealed. 78% of people say that the Internet has replaced writing letters. 75% say they now go to, to the Internet for recipes. 71% mm -hmm. Don't read newspapers anymore. They go on the internet. 59% don't go to the library, and 44% watch their TV on the internet. Yeah, it's um. That's you know, kind of sad. It is. It is kind of sad, especially when you think about handwritten letters. I mean, the yeah. fact that, that I mean that truly has become a lost art. Um, the other flip side of it is that you know when you think about communication, we are in touch so much more today. But I think certainly there is some nostalgia when you think obviously about newspapers. And what about going to the library? I mean, yeah. you know. And what about encyclopedias? Not that I miss them, but there was something about having all those books on your shelf that was kind of cool. But yeah. It, so we just have to accept that our kids are going to be doing things in, in a different way and, and not necessarily, you know, it, it may be a better way, but things have truly, truly changed and who knows what will be next. And you know what has changed as well, how Yahoo looks. It, we thought it would be fun to dig up how Yahoo looked 15 years ago and show what it looks like now. It's, look at this, it was like completely so different. <laughs> confusing and cluttered and now it's so streamlined and modern and Thank you. High well, tech. and you know honestly the company started as a way to organize the chaos of the web because as you know the the web is so vast and that was sort of the vision back then and that's really what it's become today and it's not just a place to look at your email or check the headlines but you know you can get your entertainment sports etc it, it truly has become this this global media brand. And now there is social networking which is all the rage on the internet Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. Here here's another stat the rise of the digital age, people say, 67% say they can't live without email, and 50% say that they can't live without social media. I'm not sure if this has been a good thing or a bad thing for relationships. Well, I'll tell you one thing that we did find. We, when we asked people what's the most significant thing that's happened to you because of the web, a majority of people told us that reconnecting with a childhood friend was the most important event of their lives due to the internet. So I think the web has allowed us to do things that we never could have thought possible before. Absolutely. Um, certainly making those connections. And I agree with you. Sometimes we, you know, we lose some of the face-to-face. -face. Obviously, we talked about handwriting and, and the and personal touch. Calls. And phone calls. Yeah. But you know, some other research that we have done, people still say that when it comes to sharing news, important news with their family and friends, they still pick up the phone. Okay, it's good. not completely replaced using the phone. Good. So I won't email my relatives when my baby is born. No. <laughs> I will call them on the you phone. Let your husband do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> All right. Now, how many people pay their bills online? 4% back in 1995, but now a whopping 70%. Yes. This is one of the best things about the Internet to uh, me. I agree. It's the convenience. And, and overwhelmingly in our survey, that's what people told us. Uh, in fact, uh, almost half of the people that we surveyed told us they couldn't live without online bill pay. And I'm one of those people. I me agree. too. Me too. <laughs> so how do people feel, though, about security? Are they more confident about dealing with their finances online now than they were back then? Well, I think this is really interesting. So back in 1995, people were very concerned about it. And then there was a bit of a decline, uh, I would say, in the late 90s up to about 2000. And now we're seeing, in terms of concern, same levels as what they were in 1995. I think that's because we as a culture are more tech savvy yeah. and we understand the risks and more of us are doing it. So we had to take into account all of this information that we're putting out there. And it's not just our financial information we're concerned mm -hmm. about. We're now also more concerned about our personal information. All right. I can't imagine what we're going to see happen in the next 15 it's years. It's very exciting. Right? Thanks, Heather. Thank you. Good to have you here.